What's up, guys? It's Joel Benavides with the Vlog Squawk Podcast. It's the 4th of June, uh, 1.32 p.m. Central Standard Time. It's about 6.32 on the Universal Clock. And we are going to get started with the Squawk. Um, no time to BS around today. We're just going to kind of get down to business. Uh, I just woke up. I worked late, 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 late. So uh, you feel excuse the appearance. We'll get on with it. So uh, you can see the blood in the market. Yeah, that's, that's a bloody mess right now. But not to despair, uh, there are some good things that may come of this. It's just gonna take a few days. Um, so BSV is still up 1.61%. And uh, that's, that's about it from the top 20. So uh, let's move on with it and take a look. See what else is going on over here. Yeah, let's do the coin market cap real quick. I'm gonna do a fast one real quick, guys. So Nam uh, coming in at 20th, trading at eight cents. Tezos in at 19th, trading at one and 22. Neo in at 18th, trading at 11 and 70. ETC in at 17th, trading at eight and 41. Cosmos Adam in at 16th, trading at six and 11. Iota in at 15th, trading at 42 cents. Dash by the same symbol in at 14th. Trading at 146 and 13, Monero XMR and 13, trading at 84 and 08. Uh, Cardano ADA in at 12th, trading at 8 cents. Uh, and Tron in at 11th, trading at 3.3 cents. So let's um, jump into the top 10 coins here, guys. And I'll we'll talk about some news, look at some charts, and, and be done with it. Uh, Stellar USDT. Oh, I'm sorry, what the hell am I talking about? XLM in a tenth my market cap, trading at 12 cents. That's down 8.93 points on the day. Tether in at ninth, trading at 99 cents, down half a point for the day, percentage point. Uh, BSV in an eighth by market cap, trading at 222 and 35. That's up 1.04%. Binance Coin BNB in at seventh, trading at 30 and four. That's down 6.88% on the day. EOS by the same symbol in at six by market cap trading at six and 43. That's down 11.54 point percentage points on the day. Litecoin LTC in at fifth by market cap trading at 102 and 36, down 8.49% on the day. Bitcoin Cash BCH in at fourth trading at 382 and 51, down 10.35% on the day. XRP in at third trading at 40 cents. That's down 9.67% on the day. Ethereum ETH in at second trading at 242 and 63, down 7. 0.27% on the day and Bitcoin, of course, excuse me, uh, BTC in at first trading at 7723 and 95 cents. Guys, that's down 9.62% on the day. Correlation on the uh, top 20 uh, in terms of the seven day graph, apart from like uh, Bitcoin SV, uh, but there's there is some, some correlation across the board. And I think the BSV thing comes from like Craig Wright opening his big mouth all over social media uh, this past weekend. So, um, didn't get a chance to look at the news. So let's just do some quick trending stories. Uh, Samsung's bet on Bitcoin mining. So Sam, uh, yeah, uh, I guess they're probably putting out miners maybe. Uh, that's from CryptoSlate.com four hours ago, eight hours ago from three sources including Cointelegraph, Apple to unveil CryptoKit, cryptographic developer package at upcoming conference. Eight hours ago, from two sources, including the Bitcoinist.com, Apple embraces Bitcoin. Uh, U.Today puts out a um, price prediction 
about eight hours ago and also eight hours ago from investinblockchain.com. It costs banks less to partner up with Ripple than to create their own crypto. Uh, 13 hours ago from, uh, from newsbtc.com, SEC's new decision uh, reprieve Ripple XRP fall term. And uh, about 24 hours ago, Tron CEO pays 4.5 million to give Warren Buffett his best crypto pitch. Um, so, uh, man, I'd like to be a fly on the wall for that meeting. I went ahead and pulled up the, the Fibonacci's, uh, just for fun. Uh, but we can see, uh, throughout the night, uh, it, it did in fact test this level here at 0.236, which is, I don't know, around 78.30 price price point 7830 on on bitcoin and uh next uh, significant stop there is the 382 and that would put us at uh, about 7141 uh if you're gonna short it's it's playing around like a um the the reason for the stall right here at 7730 or 70 yeah 7730 is uh because there's a um uh, level of support there that it's punching through or working on and there's another one also down here at 7250 um, but after that shortly after that is that next uh, fib level at 7150 and then of course you know if we were to make it all the way down which we may uh, to the uh, to the fib it, it would be around 60.40. So we we may see it go that low. I'm not sure if we're gonna see it go that low just because this move was so bullish. Uh, but I mean, also look at how quickly it's retracing. This may be a very short-lived uh, correction or pullback, guys. So we may be back in the game after I don't know uh, the weekend or maybe the week. So we'll just have to see how it plays out. Fascinating stuff, though. Um, we're, we're looking at the hour. Uh, let's take a look at the four hour real quick and then zoom way in. Yeah, so here are those levels of support that I was talking about and the FIB level. So all in all, next stop. You know, if it, if it starts moving below 70... Yeah, like, like 7,700 with volume... I'd say next couple of stops is going to be like 72.57 and uh, 71.45. So like 72.60 and uh, 71.60, I guess would be nice round numbers for you. Um, but you know, uh, stochastics are, are oversold. Uh, MACD is approaching oversold territory so I don't know I don't know if we're gonna if we're gonna hang out here for a long time but that is a very very sharp move to the downside so uh, we'll keep an eye out on it um, my, my weekend which is my work week is officially over um, so uh, I will be back in earned tomorrow and we'll uh, we'll knock out like a like a nice good analysis of the market see where this thing is going uh, and get some perspective from the community so that's gonna do it for me uh, it's uh, the 4th of June 141 p.m. in San Antonio uh, again universal clock 1841 UTC for the 4th and uh, we're out of here guys follow me on Twitter talk to you guys later cheers <laughs>